Adventures. Welcome to the second welcome to the second episode of my brand new series, Scribe for Beginner's Guide. So let, last episode we covered up what everything did. Well everything that's not the actual blocks and coding. So today we're gonna do emotion category. Wow. So in the motion category we got the but it's pretty simple, it's motion. It makes the cat move. Or whatever sprite you're actually using. So to move 10 steps, seems complicated, like you might say, how, do, what do you mean by 10 steps? 10 steps is just like, the x at negative 82, and go negative 72, it's just moving 10x, you can make this minus, it's just a simple way to experiment. It's literally, and it's also literally the exact same as this. Then there's a turn 15 decrease. These things are also pretty simple. I can turn like that, and I can turn like that. And you put them in a repeat, it'll go like, we to a circle and then this is the go to random position so clicking this you go to a random position on the board yes you're you can go as much as your head you can go as much as like your head barely even being on this on the board like da 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 or da 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 they, you could be like this, and there's a there's an extremely low chance for it, but it's still a chance. That's it for that. But then there's the go to this. Well, it goes to a special piece of coordinates. Go here and then there. A cool thing about this is it's 94 to negative 22. If I move my cap, this changes. This is for easy replacement, so I don't need to manually copy and paste this there. So if I move it here, I want it to spawn there. I just go move it there, and you get to go to there. It automatically transitions. And then there's the glide. One second to random position mouse pointer. If we create a new sprite, there is also a glide random one second to sprite two, or other sprite, which is right now right there. You can't really move it unless you use this. Yes. So yeah, this can move mouse pointer, random position, or sprite two. An easy way to just get a half block is just getting sprite, getting another sprite, and then removing it. And now this block is not supposed to exist in the nothing. So then there's the glide one second. There's the glide one second. The coordinate position again. If you move this, it changes the value. Let same as this. So we're just gonna put a category there, and then. And another cool thing about these two, it's not just like you get to glide there. It also changes, it's one second. That means if you're really far away, it'll go fast. But if you're really close to here, it goes slow. It always has to take this the value, which for both of these default is what you can change this to this. So now it'll go really slowly. And in a random position, we'll... Yeah, it glides there. I didn't really explain that. Then there is the point and direction. Now, this is like these, just this. The direction is 90. This, that is 90. But then this is changing direction by 15. But then this just, boom, sets it to it. It's like variables, which we'll talk about on episode. On episode 8, well, no, episode 9. Because this is episode 2. Wait, no, episode 10. On a episode, sorry. <laughs> and then, then we have the point towards mouse pointer. This, well, if our mouse pointer is there, even if it's off board, it'll still point to it. Move it here. It's a cool feature. You can also make this, uh, I think, a sprite. Yeah, you can also make this point at a sprite, which is a cool way let me just delete all three and then right here this is the usual stuff that's used in games to change x by 10 pretty simple it changes the oops maybe that's a 90 the change oh by the way when you click this it makes a real cool feature to be added just to help beginners change x by 10 just moves it on 10 this is a, the x scale goes y, x. This is x forward, x backwards, negative, it is, 
y high, y low, up, and negative y, right there. And then there's the set x. This just sets the x. It stays on the y. If you move this, again, this thing does change depending on where you're moving. But it's not like this. It's very similar, but it's not like this because this, well, it also sets the y. The y is negative 64. If we move it here, bring, and this would bring us right there. But if we do this, it won't, and I'll just change our x. And if there's a change y by 10, exact same thing on x, as it goes up and down, instead of left and right. And you set y, this is literally the exact same thing, just it's y, boom, and boom. Then this is a cool block if you're using, if you're making like something that you should chase it. It is on if on edge bounce. If I get a, if I click, I click this. Now if I do this, Oops, I forgot the forever loop. It just, if I go on the edge, it just bounces back. Go like, boom, not today, thank you. Now that's it for these blocks, and then there's the set rotation style. This, this means don't rotate. It just goes there, left or right, and then left or right, all around. This this is pretty complicated and it's hard to learn and this video will be way too long if I explain the entire thing. So I'm just going to skip that and there's the X position, just shows your X, just shows your Y, and then just shows your direction. Exactly. This is a pretty neat feature. And then we're also going to look at the looks category. Because we're going to be doing these two categories at a, long, at a time along, unless it's a long category. So there's still so these videos actually take time. And there's this there's the switch costume. Costumes, well, we explained them briefly in the last video. These things well, you can swap costumes to make animations. And then here it swaps it automatically. Right now we're costume one, as you can see the name. And then we click it, it goes to costume two. And then we can just add again costume one. Now you can remember like yeah, you can kind of make an animation. Next, animating is going to be in a later episode. So stay tuned and, keep, and make sure you subscribe and like the video. And turn on the bell so you know when more, when more of the series comes out. So there is the next costume. Just put the next costume in the list. This no list. Then there's the switch backdrop. The backdrop is the background. Explain that earlier, you can create another one right here, you can choose a lot. Let me just quickly create, paint one and make it this. And then go back on here. We are gonna do switch backdrop to backdrop. This is one, two, one, two. And then this is the same thing, just as the next backdrop. So just, because there's only two backdrops, the next one would go reset, and then the next reset. And we can delete all three. Then there is a change size. These two are interesting blocks because this sets the size instead of mainly setting it. That means if it changes in somewhere in the game, always make sure to have it. Then there's a change size like 10. This makes it bigger. Using this, if we just spam this, it makes a kind of animation. And we get here and it make a negative 10 like this. Big, small. Fun and then this is sets it to a pre-size, just doesn't go up or down. This changes the color, fishy, world, pixelate, mosaic, brightness, ghost. It, you, by changing the color, makes a rainbow a fishy. It makes a more effect. And then world, it just spins, it just spins, it just creates a whirlpool effect if I make this this number. Yeah, it, it kind of even creates a black hole if you make it nine. Pixelate. Huh? I think it's because I was like pixelate, let's just set it the default. It blurs it and pixelate it, and it's mostly like a simplify feature. It's, it's funny. And then there is the mosaic. 
and duplicates and duplicates and duplicates by connecting this to a chain size by like 50 reflect click it makes a really cool cloning effect that can use in all your animations da, 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 da. one thing I don't if you are willing if you are daring to count how many there are good luck you can easily do by zooming I'll do this to help you if you want to count take a screenshot here and then start counting yeah. I'm just gonna click this and then the, another effect I'm reset oopsie 100 where did the block up must have disappeared change and then we have to go brightness brightness just basic it makes it brighter and then do minus 25 these are really cool for making animations again i'll explain these more than just kind of briefly in the animation video and then there's ghost ghost just makes it a ghost pretty simple by clicking the green flag you will reset all of these this is the exact same thing exact same categories just instead of changing it it sets it to a pre a fixed value there's the clear graphic effects well if we do this and then make it well i like mix that and then we clear this it removes all of this it'll set everything to zero then there's the basic show high show show high show high show high and then there's the go to front layer layers i'm just gonna show layers well layers the way they work is if you have like a lot of sprites sure if you have like a lot of sprites like these three and then you want some of them to be a top look higher than other ones this makes it whatever it is go to the front layer and i'm just going to remove these examples you can also make it go one layer back not yeah see that's where that comes in this goes in the front layer or the back layer this you can go forward or backward on there using this you can have infinity layers not just the front or the back which creates some crazy games and then there's the costume number if you're wondering why it doesn't say costume one because that's costume name right here there's the number one and two not this and also here if you drag this here you can change the number to the name as well backdrop number same thing and then number size this shows the size now these kind of like variables just you don't change them manually and then with any variable you can always just click this and it shows how many it is that's it for this video thanks for watching don't forget to check out the other videos that are about to just pop up on the screen right here thanks for watching bye